discoveries in search system in Elite Dangerous 15.1. This system will allow you to automatically see new interesting phenomenon in the galaxy via the new discoveries panel. You can look through your history and see the results of the search, note in your observing achievements or to see if there's systems worth revisiting. And you can use the system in the surveyor via a new search option to quickly find bodies during DSS scanning to fly to. Find and observe interesting bodies like planets close to or within rings, close binary pairs, stars with rings, planets with wide rings, bodies with a high number of jamponium materials, etc. During exploration, use the surveyor overlay to see these searches being presented against bodies. As you fly, the searches selected will be performed and present bodies that might be worth flying to. In EDD, you are not limited to using only the observation criteria defined by the program. You can define your own searches and save them using the search scan panel user interface. Then use these custom searches in the discoveries observer panel or the surveyor. You have complete control over your observations of notable bodies. Opening the discovery panel will run the searches selected and show you a list of matching bodies found in your history. It will search the whole of the loaded history and present bodies that match. These are shown in date descending order with the information on the body and its parents listed. You can also click on the headings to change the search order, such as searching by body. You can search the text in the grid by clicking on the search text box and typing. This is useful to find a particular search which matched if you had multiple searches on. You select which searches to use by clicking on the search button. Here you can select which searches are presented in the grid. The more you select, the longer it will take to perform the search. The default selection allows you to go back to the original set which came when you first opened the panel. User-defined searches are listed at the top of the drop-down list, while built-in searches follow. You can additionally control word wrap so that you can see a summary of the systems without the detail, and you can export the grid contents to a spreadsheet using the export function. You can also turn on extra columns of information by right-clicking on the header. You can turn on the grandparent, which shows the parent of the parent. You can turn on the star, which shows the next star above the body. And you can turn on the parent of star, which shows the star two above the body. The surveyor has been enhanced to use the discovery searches. A new search button is present, which runs the searches selected by the user. These searches are in addition to the older surveyor built-in searches present in the planet and star menu. The searches which passed will be presented at the end of the body line, such as this one, showing two searches passing on the body, moons orbiting terraformables and high number of jamponium materials. If you want to use the built-in searches which come with their discovery, then that's all the information you need to know. We will now cover how to define a new search. To define a custom search, you use the search panel and then select scans. We will select a simple search tidal lock. This consists of two conditions. The two conditions are anded together. The first condition is is planet, meaning test the scan to make sure that it's a planet. The second condition is looking to see if the tidal lock flag is set. Run the search to see the results. We will now enter the condition from scratch. Click on the cross to clear the condition fields. To enter the first condition, hit the plus and then start typing is planet. You can see the autocomplete drops down and shows you a list of valid default variables. Click on is planet. The default for is planet is the condition is true, which is the one we want. So we won't have to select a condition. 
Now we enter the second condition by hitting the plus key and then start typing N Tidal. It's already auto completed to Tidal Lock. So you can hit the entry and select it. Again, it auto selects to is true. In this way, you can enter and build up conditions. Clicking on the drop down selector gives you a list of all the variables associated with various different journal entries. You can see the journal entry for a particular variable on the right. So body name, for instance, is associated with journal entries scan, SAA signals found, and FSS body signals. The help text here also gives you some information about what the actual variable means. For instance, here it's the frontier body name. It also gives you the type of the field, in this case a string. You can have integers and booleans and floating point values. To get help on these values, click on the question mark which will take you to the wiki page for the search. Click on search scans and it will present help on this page and at the bottom will list all the properties. For journal scan entries, when searching, you can refer to the parent of the current scan using parent dot. Here we check in whether or not the parent has rings. In this way you can use a condition which has dependencies on the parent as well as the scan itself. You can also look at siblings. These are bodies which are at the same level as your current scan that you're checking using sibling dot or sibling array. And in a similar manner, you can look at the child bodies of the current scan using child array. Here we are using iter1, which is an automatic variable which starts at one and counts up and allows you to scan the whole array for a terraformable planet. You can use and modify one of the built-in tests and save it as a new discovery test. For instance, here we will take the tiny moon entry and relax the size of the tiny moon by doubling the number. We can then run the scan and then we can save it. Use the save button, give it a new name, slightly larger moon and click OK. That is now available in the drop down and is also available in the drop down of the discovery and surveyor panels. The other buttons on the toolbar allow you to clear the conditions, allow you to delete the current condition, allow you to export or import conditions so you can share them, allow you to control the word wrap, allows you to export the grid to Excel, allow you to turn on debugging. Click on this once, run the scan, click on it again and it will produce debugging information which helps you to find out if the condition is executing correctly. A late addition to the system is the ability to sort by a property inside the journal scan. This property is given inside the sort box. If the sort box is empty, then the data is sorted by date. If the sort box has the expression, it's sorted by that expression. Hitting the ascend or descend sort button applies the sort. Various built-in searches have default sort orders related to their search parameters. You can still sort by date or body name just by clicking the header. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction to the new discovery system in 15.1 and hope you have very many fine discoveries as you explore the galaxy. Check out our YouTube channel for other videos showing how to configure and use other aspects of this program. So for now I say bye bye and fly safe commanders.